On the evening of June 23rd, unknown assailants opened fire in two cities of Dagestan. In Derbent, the attackers opened fire on the Church of Protection of Blessed Virgin Mary and a synagogue. The attackers killed a priest in the Orthodox Church and started a fire in the synagogue. Armored vehicles appeared on the streets of Derbent. Security forces blocked the exits from the city. The Russian National Guards stormed the residential building where militants had taken barricade. Meanwhile, in Mahachkala, unknown people opened fire at a traffic patrol post near a synagogue. The shot out lasted until late in the evening near the city's only Orthodox church, the Holy Dormition Cathedral. At 11.15 p.m., the National Anti-Terrorist Committee announced the end of the active phase of counter-terrorist operation in Derbent. After midnight, the barricaded priests and parishioners were taken out of Mahachkala church. And at around 2 a.m., the synagogue in Derbent was extinguished. What happened in Derbent and Mahachkala demonstrates that reconciliation has turned out to be as much a sham as everything Putin talks about, like taking Kyiv in three days or, for example, sanctions are good for us. In general, the stability that the country has been praying for all these years turns off not to exist at all. Abbas Galamov, Russian political scientist from the Telegram channel, we can explain. It was happening right in front of their eyes, but they somehow missed it. According to the Constitution, these are the people who are not able to do what they are supposed to do, which is to ensure the security of Russians. That's why people there live in danger all the time. And that's why there are terrorist attacks there all the time. According to Russian media, two sons and a nephew of Magomed Amarov, the head of the Dagestan's Sergakala district, are among the liquidated militants. The official was detained by law enforcers. According to MASH media, the car that came to pick up Omarov was shelled in the village of Sergakala. Meanwhile, the information about Omarov was promptly removed from the website of the United Russia Party. We can draw one possible conclusion in this situation. Someone needs this, but it is not in Putin's favor but the opposite. Someone has decided that Putin has had enough and it is necessary to find some good reason to start some large-scale hostilities between some forces. And it is very easy to do it under the pretext of Islam versus orthodoxy. As usual, Moscow blamed Ukraine and NATO for yet another terrorist attack that the Federal Security Service was unable to prevent. The Kremlin preferred not to notice that ISIS openly praised its followers in Dagestan. Analysts from the American Institute for the Study of War are convinced that as long as Moscow blames Kiev and the West for its troubles, extremist groups will continue to inflame the situation in Russia. The Russian branch of ISK's Al Azaim Media posted a statement on June 23rd following the attack praising their brothers from the Caucasus for demonstrating what they were capable of. Al Azaim did not claim credit for the attack itself, notably, and the reference to the Caucasus strongly suggests that Vilayat Kavkaz is responsible for the attack. The Shanghai Cooperation Organization's regional anti terror structure specifically warned that Vilayat Kavkaz became more active following the March 22nd ISK Crocus City Hall attack and has escalated recruitment appeals in the Northern Caucasus since April 2024 from the Institute for the Study of War. Putin did not comment on the events in Dagestan on June 23rd and 24th. His spokesman said that Putin had no plans to address Russians. This is not the first incident in the republic. In October 2023, there were riots in Mahachkala airport in connection with the Hamas attack on Israel. At that time, an aggressive crowd stormed the airport terminal building and the airfield where the flight from Tel Aviv had arrived. Dozens of people were involved in a criminal case. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Nikita Skoblikov, UATV News.